Hey everybody, this is another pickapile.com, aceofchalices.net production. We have eight piles here today, four for if you're single or in situationships, and four for if you're partnered. So I'm gonna go through the options right now. Um, ain't much to say over here, just know how that it's going to be cards on your person, cards on you to pick up the current energy situation, and then we're gonna see where we go from there, all right? Timestamps are in the description box. You know how it goes over here. So let's see the piles. Pile one is going to be the white sage. Pile two is the so club social biscuit. Pile three is the black pepper. Pile four is the medical tape. And for the partnered piles, we have pile number one, the notebook. Pile number two, the business card. Pile number three, the swinger matches. And pile number four, the romance angel. Okay, so pick your pile. I'll see you guys. Bye. Hi everyone, this is going to be pile one, white sage, smudge stick, all right? So this is going to be a pile for if you're single in a situationship, the current energy of you and the person that you're thinking about and their energy towards you, okay? So if you don't have a person in mind, this is not the reading for you. Let's see what we get. Pile one. Pile one to their person. Their person to pile one. Okay, Pal one, I'm seeing that there could be a water or fire sign on your mind. Um, this could be an ex-partner, someone that you were in line to marry or get married to. They could be a Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so I'm seeing that this person was uh, had a deep love for you or something. Like you had a little deep love for this person, but you decided to go and check your options because you didn't feel like this person was going to honor um, a long-term commitment. This could be someone you met in college or six years ago. Number six could be, number six to seven, five to seven could be relevant to your relationship. I'm seeing that um, five to eight, really. The person that is on your mind right now may have excommunicated you because they feel like they couldn't trust the situation or they feel like um, something was deeply... Uh, unreliable about it i see this person is uh doing pretty good right now their opinion of you is also that you're fine you don't really need them but i see that the outcome here there is a deep emotional um pull towards each other still uh, i don't think that i think pe both of you turned your back on each other but i feel like neither of you wanted to i feel like there's still a lot of emotions in both people i see you're both two hard-working people but i feel like some kind of conversation may have been uh untrustworthy or it could have been that some plan was cancelled or you could have caught this person in a lie i'm seeing it could be like that let's see clarify the clarify the queen of swords reverse i feel like you don't want to look at what this person is offering clarify the hierophant reverse i feel like you you don't you don't feel like this person gels with you on your level of understanding. Um, I feel like you feel very burdened by the connection, but there's a lot of you that still wants to give to this. You may be a Virgo. Uh, I feel like you just don't want the anxiety of it, but both of you have your walls up and I feel like you want to walk away also because you feel like this person gives us a very smug attitude. Maybe you feel like they make you feel like they don't need you or they're having a good time without you. But I feel like this person had a lot of passion for you as well. Sometimes they wait for your message. Um, but they're really pissed about some kind of manipulation or mind game too. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Okay, you couldn't make a decision. 
um, or you got out of you got out of this or another long term connection that was offering you generational wealth, and I'm seeing that you don't know how to communicate uh, what is lacking in the connection. Clarify the Eight of Cups, right? You both wouldn't have minded to build this slowly, but I feel like it's too slow for someone's taste. And I feel like you uh, you feel about your person that they're lacking the strength to build these plans with you. Maybe you feel like they're still traumatized about the past, even though they may look happy on social media. Something makes you feel that way. Um, you want to reach out and talk to this person um, and possibly expose them. Maybe you have some evidence to expose them or you have a certain argument you want to bring to the front. And... Uh, the discussion is about, um, what is it about? Let's see. Yeah, I think you want to end things or at least have a decisive discussion about direction. And that's what it's looking like. Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands. Um, because you want something balanced and stable. What does this person want? What does this person want? The tower. This person wants conflict or he, this person wants to end. This person wants healing out of the situation. You could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. The energy I'm seeing here is this person just wants to feel better. They don't want to dwell on this anymore. And they want to go back to um, building their own life. I don't feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Uh, they feel like things were unfair. And they're going to just leave it like that. Because they feel like they understand. They understand more than they've told you basically is what I'm seeing from the cards. Okay, how does my pile one feel? You feel like this person is the player? Um, player fire sign? Maybe you do have a look for them, but you are keeping things light. You want to go back to work and focus on that. And I see that you feel there could be some reconciliation in the future. Um, but you want to take a break right now because it's giving you a headache. All right, pile one, that's your reading. I love you, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys, bye. Hello, pile two. Those of you who chose the club social crackers, all right, this is gonna be your reading. For singles and situationships, what is the energy between you and your person and your person to you? Okay, so let's get started. They're good, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 cool. Okay, I'm seeing you have a very deep love for this person. You want to really get married to them. But you feel like communication has been a struggle lately. I feel like on, you're on the fence about this now because lately this person has been pulling back. Um, you feel like they're extra busy all of a sudden. I feel like you think this person's lying to you, but this person feels like you're lying to them. There's some real struggle here going on. Um, this person has a very deep love. Uh, you have a very deep love for this person. It seems like they built this over a very long period of time. But this person of yours, they're very spread out right now. And they've given you reasons to think that they're lying. 
Um, maybe you feel like if they said they're going to do something, you see that it's not getting done. Um, you're picking up on that and uh, that's pissing you off. This person is feeling like things are not growing in their life. And they may be taking that out on you. Maybe they're spending a long time without talking to you and you guys like built up a routine, but now they're really like pissed. Same, something about their own personal life, I think. Um, maybe you awaken some kind of fear in this person and they're having a hard time accepting that. I'm seeing this person feels really guilty about what they've done to you. Um, you're, ready, you're ready to move past that, but you want to talk about it, right? This person, you're still, your love is still the same. You want to make love to this person. You haven't expressed to them, possibly, how much you love them, but you're serious about the commitment in every sense of the word. Uh, I feel like there's not honest communication between two, or maybe some parts of you guys are holding back. You're holding your emotions back. This person's holding their decisions back. They're not like, they're not being clear with how they're thinking about all this stuff going on. Excuse me. So, I see a, an unhealthy conversation coming up in the near future. It could be uh, you guys discussing some kind of letting go, letting go of an old pattern, letting go of an old uh, dynamic, lodging dynamic. Maybe this is your roommate, someone you're growing more and more fond of, but I feel like you're really close to giving up because I think you've analyzed where that anything going wrong is really how this person's talking to you. Like, it's really stinging you. It's like, all of a sudden, like, the threat to the love has become the communication in, uh, in this scenario. And this person is feeling really guilty about it. Um, and I think that they're talking to everyone but you about it. Seems like that kind of a thing. I feel like maybe uh, you're both shocked. Maybe you feel like this person is giving to another relationship and that's bothering you on the inside, um, top to bottom. This person's also guilty about doing it, but they're still doing it. Like, I don't get it. Clarify the Empress reverse. Whatever this person is giving to other than you, it's not growing. And this person is realizing that. And they feel very embarrassed. They don't even know how to apologize to you. Um, they're coming off as very, like, whorish. Like, this person is coming off very whorish and unreliable. You feel like they vie for other people's attention. Uh, but they really keep things casual with people. But it comes off to you very unreliable. You have big hopes for this person. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. But this person is making you feel very unhealed at the moment. I feel like this person had the opposite effect to you before. But you realize that this person, the way that they're giving is... Uh, you can tell that they're breadcrumbing. You can just tell. Like everything about it tells you and it's eating your energy alive. You found what I'm seeing from the cards. Can I find that this is work? What is the conversation coming up with these guys? Someone's gonna send a lie. That lie will be ignored. But the way they message, it's gonna leave you feeling very bored. Like the truth is gonna be out about this person and I feel like you're going to be distancing yourself harshly. Could be dealing with an air sign. Clarified. Yeah, you're breaking free of the cycle. Something this person is gonna say to you or message you, you're gonna have certainty that this is not the person for you because it's not changing their behavior. Like you believe patterns, right? And this person's giving you a pattern of uh, unavailability. And what I see here is that the spell is over, basically. This person had you under their spell, but they're going to be very stressed about it. You're going to walk off. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Love you. Bye. In my pile three, and those of you who chose this black pepper grinder, is going to be your reading for singles and situationships. If there's a person on your mind, what is going on in that connection? We're going to see your energy to them, their energy to you. What is it looking like, the situation? Okay,
feel like there's like a, a huge moment of silence and defensiveness between you and your person right now. I feel like you may have retracted an offer because you don't want to believe in it or you're feeling unlucky. Check pile two, that might resonate for you. Could be the same story here for those two. All right, so I feel like you, you feel someone is taking too long to make a decision. So now you're uninterested in the offer. Maybe you feel like the offer is too small or you feel like it's not going to um, fulfill you emotionally. Or it could be that you're avoiding many different options because you have one particular on your mind. But right now you're also not extending to that because you feel like uh, life is acting like it's against you. I think uh, you've had like a string of bad events happening and it just seems like you can't focus on this relationship or this connection right now. This sends this person off of balance. Uh, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or this person was intoxicated the last time you spoke. Um, I feel like this person's also putting a, up a wall against you. Uh, I do feel like they were having emotions for you, but it seems like they're going to be manifesting a new connection somewhere else. I feel like the stability they once saw in this connection is no longer there because they sense that it's a third party situation. Maybe you have someone else on the side. I'm seeing you do. I'm seeing you have two to three people on the side and this person was one of them. Like, so this person is not sad over this anymore. I mean, they were. I feel like you guys had a bad, uh, argument or discussion or maybe you're both ignoring each other i'm seeing the outcome is you both will you both will choose what is better for your lives individually um i'm seeing this person now focus on new love um because they feel very imbalanced with you like they feel they feel very imbalanced with you because uh there's something about giving and taking and communication here. let me see clarify temperance why does pile three's person feel imbalanced? The world of right. Okay, this person knows their worth. Um, they could be a celebrity or something like that. And they feel very burdened by your communication. Why is that? What happened? I feel like the passion is like up and down one day. Or they feel like they can't trust uh, the emotions or the attachment in the situation. This person ha uh, has the very gut instinct that this is a very toxic connection. And so that they're seeking love elsewhere. Four of Wands reverse. Let's see. Why do you feel unlucky? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for my pile three. I think you are comparing this relationship to your previous ones. And that's why you're feeling unlucky. And this person is calling quits because they feel like you don't give them enough. I feel like you've been waiting. You were waiting to like see if this would be any different. Or if this will fill your emotions in a different way. But I feel like you you are yet to experience a, a level of change. But I think that you may be projecting it onto this person. This person uh, has a low tolerance to that thing. They, I don't think that they have a good attitude about it anymore. Something revealed to them that it's not stable. Maybe make this person wait a lot. Three of Wands reverse, Six of Pentacles reverse. Make this person wait. Clarify the Four of Wands one more card. They feel like they can't believe in this. It's not good. Like their gut is telling them that they should go elsewhere. Your gut is also telling you the same thing. That's the energy I'm seeing here for pile three. What is the leaving message? Hi Priestess, what do you understand for it? You understand that there could be something better for you and the other one is Knight of Cups Upright. You still wanna make up with this person, but you wanna make up with them so that your anxiety will end. Five of Wands reverse, okay. This person's taking a long break though. They're in another direction. What I'm seeing. Okay, that's the energy I'm seeing here. It's not a negative or positive reading. It's just it is what it is. And I'm seeing that you both know that you're better off with other people. I'll see you guys on the next one, right? Love you. Bye. Hey, pile four. Those of you who chose this medical pouch this is going to be your reading for what is going on in your current connection for singles and situationships. Okay, pile four. So let's get into your reading.
Okay, I'm seeing you're taking a very big step in into yourself, towards yourself. You could be a Cancer Pisces energy or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, I'm seeing hard here. Okay, so you're delving in deeper to your emotions, to understand your darknesses, your fears. Um, I feel like you have deep emotions for this person and you want to take them to the next level. But I feel like you're treading lightly because... Uh, you still want to get more information about this person. So I think that when you, whenever you are extending yourself, you're articulating yourself properly. But I think that this person can sense that you're hiding something back. But this person is really into you right now. Um, they want to build on this. They're... Like, both of you are loving each other's intelligence. Both of you are feeling happy around each other. You're feeling more innocent. Like, you're feeling... Good, but you're also approaching it in an innocent way, lighthearted way, because you're flirting. You just don't want to be taken wrong, but you have deeper emotions that you don't tell about. And these emotions don't just pertain to this person. These emotions have to do with your past. Like, it's like you're taking the chance at love again, but you're not jumping full force in. And the reason why is you're trying to understand what distinguishes your new love style from your old one. That's what I'm seeing with the moon and the page of cups. Queen of Swords, okay. I'm getting like you two had a very intellectual conversation. It could have been about work. It could have been about philosophy. Maybe just you picked each other's brain about something. And you're taking it in a lighthearted way. You're doing it in a way to like poke and get more information out of this person. This person is like feeling a little confused about that, but they feel very radiant from your energy. Their opinion of you is really good. You you strike them as someone, they're not certain if you're honest, but they get a good vibration from you. And they're ready to see what may come out of this. You may have known this person for five to seven years or when you met when they were 19 or when you were 19. Um, or 18. All right, so what I'm seeing here is, clap for the sun. This person likes that you're in the public eye. Uh, it makes them feel very happy. It heals their broken heart about it. What about you? Do you feel burdened by love in general? So you don't know what to say. That's why you're treading lightly. You want to work with what they give you. But you have this deep anxiety that... Um, you have this deep anxiety about a commitment or asking for one or imagining one. Maybe you have a lot of options. So you really want to be sure. And I feel like this person sometimes, they're wondering like if you are... If you really consider them. Because I see like you both two are very happy on your own. Maybe this person is older than you. They have like a, a deeper understanding or developed understanding of these kind of dynamics. Whereas you are trying to learn. You're actually more trying to learn about yourself and the person at the same time. Whereas this person is coming more from a place of knowing. And if they feel any uneasy or unsure vibe from you, it gives this person a headache. They feel like they have to become selfish. The only way to protect themselves from you. Um, they see you as someone who's really dreamy, like they daydream about you, maybe you will, they didn't dream about marrying you, maybe you also daydream about that, but you also have many different options to choose from, and none of those options are uh, distinguished from each other, like they're not, no, none of them are all that, but the thing is, that's why it's hard for you to choose, because you're not truly impressed, like, it's more of an emotional need for you, rather than you being impressed with the person, but this person sees that this can grow somewhere, but they are a little tense about being abandoned here. Um, so they may come off manipulative sometimes, but it's really them protecting their heart and their profession. Okay, in the outcome here, I'm seeing you guys are gonna keep flirting, you guys are gonna keep texting or whatever. Maybe you may uh, invite each other out. This could be that, this could be, oh, for drinks, the temperance, something light. And I think you're going to be discussing it online. What else do I need to know about this? I feel like, give it time, this can go very far, can go the distance. You guys can even become a power couple with eight. Eight is the number of abundance. The Hierophant here I'm seeing. Uh, I think you both have your own little uh, traumas to work through, but I feel like you're learning about that from each other as much as you feel it about that. So what the takeaway message here is that you both if you keep it lighthearted, understand that. And instead of trying to reel people in, like just 
play the field, I get it. You're doing the right thing. I'm not trying to say you're not doing the right thing. It's just, if this person gets the vibe that you're being too manipulative, they have no problem leaving it also, but they do feel invested in this. But that's still one thing I can see that's bothering them. Sometimes they feel like you're very secretive or that you lie or they caught you in a lie in somewhat way. And they sometimes they're viewing you as immature. But I'm seeing that this connection has the, it has the potential to go the distance as long as people control their fears and the risks. All right, that's what I got for you. Pile four, medical pouch. I'll see you guys on the next one, right? Bye, love you. Hey, pile five, those of you who chose the notebook, this is going to be your partnership reading, you and your partner. This reading is not for singles. If you know you have a partner, this is going to be your reading. Okay, first I'm going to pull one card for each of your main energy, energetic theme, how you're feeling right now, how your person's feeling, the main energy of that. And then I'm going to go into the most recent situation between you two and the current energy and how you both plan to resolve whatever it is going on or however it is you're going to carry on. All right, so pile five. One card for them, one card for their person. What are the main energies, their partner? Okay, so for your card, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. All right. And for your partner's card, we have the Four of Wands upright. And in the middle is the Ten of Wands reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so what I have going on here is that you feel very betrayed in some kind of emotional situation when it comes to your relationship. Um, I feel like you're thinking that there's a lot of things you haven't talked about. Maybe recent things have been bothering you for the last 10 days, 10 weeks, and maybe you have not spoke about it um, as much as you could have. Uh, I'm seeing that you're holding on. Uh, your partner is feeling very happy about the connection in every way. Things are very stable with the four of wands. They had a recent, you may have recently had a party at your house or some kind of gathering. It could have been also a marriage. Uh, or another storyline I can see here is that maybe this is your ex-husband or ex-wife. They're having a new connection or something. Um, and they're working it out with that. But the way I pulled the energy is this is you, this is the partner. So I feel like maybe there's something you two have not discussed. Okay, and it's leaving you feeling very drained. Um, you're not feeling the love here. Your partner is though. Your partner feels that everything is right. Which leads me to believe that it could be there's some kind of you feel something is unfair this is your soulmate you know that you both feel equally connected match made in heaven but recently you feel that you don't have the whole scoop or your emotions are not felt or maybe you feel like your partner isn't noticing how upset you are with something that happened recently okay now let's pull out the scenario for you guys pile five notebook Let's see why you feel the way you feel, and let's see what had happened. Three cards for you, three cards for the person, and a mutual story. Okay, I'm seeing strongly that there could be your... 
you feel like there is something toxic going on when it comes to the recent communication styles, you feel like your partner is being very defensive about it. They're doing their best to keep things stable in the home, but you sense that there could be someone else or you feel that kind of you're bothered by it. Maybe something that happens that keeps you up at night or you keep thinking about something over and over again and it tosses you out of balance. You're getting over most of it, but it's something about messages or something about dealings, a contract, something about that is making you feel maybe you found a receipt. Something's making you feel that this uh, your partner is not as focused on you. However, this person is, is. It's just that maybe they've been spending a lot of time with their friends or people outside, maybe they went out for drinks and that bothered you, maybe you felt alone. Your partner sensed that you were upset about it, um, but hes they're doing everything they can to keep things stable and running. This person is not maybe seeing anyone else or anything, you make them very happy, but it just seems like maybe you, you feel that your partner isn't expressing um, their love to you anymore or that they feel like, you feel like they're very spread out, right? Um, but they think about you, they're, they're thinking about you. I see that there's a defensive attitude um, coming from your person and you, but your person retorted that and they had a very solid reason of telling you why they're behaving the way they are. And it just seems like you know that there's the love in it, but you're looking for a different kind of comfort from your person. Um, but it's just that. It's like a miscommunication about defensiveness. Uh, and it feels like you don't trust your person, but you really have no reason not to. And so your person was saying, look, I don't have time for you to judge me or mistrust me. I'm going to go here. And your person is very loyal to you. They're the emperor. They're very loyal to you. They could be upset at how you discuss this. And to get some kind of revenge on you, maybe they are also spending more time with their friends. But there's nothing going on that you should be worried about. But your feelings are genuine. You are feeling pretty sad about it. Okay, clarify the temperance reverse. What's going on here? You want a new chapter in this relationship to start. Maybe you feel like you can't do that without this communication. You're thriving. Like Maybe your partner is thriving in how stable things are. But you want to push it to the next level. Like Some part of you is feeling unfulfilled. Um, with their communication style or with their latest project and you want to start a new project Maybe you feel like things have been stagnant for a while and you're blaming your person for that But your person is doing their best to clear their mind um, Maybe you want to wait a bit and then discuss this Maybe money hasn't been the best for the, the partnership at the moment And that's a concern for you and you feel like your person is just ignoring that concern um, and that's making you sad. Maybe you're worried about uh, things not being as financially sound as it was, but I'm seeing it's gonna get better. Your person is chill because they have new plans as well. They wanna talk to you about it. I see that the discussion is gonna be great, but it's not gonna be great unless if you keep poking at each other. I think you wanna take some time, let them clear their head, you yourself clear your head, and then come back to the table and talk about it. I think that you guys are gonna be good. You gotta have to come from a loving space I see your person's gonna do that, but they just think that your attitude is unwarranted and that the conversation would get worse. This person will talk to you, they have a plan also. So I'm seeing, you may need to change your approach and how you're messaging them. And I think that you will come to a productive resolution. Just, your person sometimes feel like you may also be spread out or they feel like someone got in your head. That's what, they don't feel like this concern of yours is rational. It's coming out of nowhere. So you may have to communicate that it is not from nowhere. This, this, this is why I think so. Blah, blah, blah. Carry on from there. All right. So pile one, notebook pile. This is the recent energy of you and your partner. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye. Love you. Hi, pile six. Those of you who chose the business card. This is going to be your reading for your partner. You and your partner. How is the current energy between you two? I'm gonna grab one card each first and describe the main energy and then between you, how you're feeling, how they're feeling. And I'm gonna jump into the scenario and to see if we can get a further understanding of what is going on in your current dynamic. This is for partnered couples, no singles, okay? This could be the reading for you. Let's see, my pile six. Business card pile.
I feel like there could be some kind of ending here at this connection. I feel like there was a discussion that put everything together and I feel like you're feeling very defeated in this current situation. I feel like your person is in the spotlight. They could be a celebrity, someone important or someone very good at their job. So at work, they get a lot of attention. I feel like there was a long discussion about what went right, what went wrong. And I feel like both people were starting to feel betrayed in this. I don't feel like this was an equal relationship. And I feel that you're very heartbroken right now. Maybe there were things you could have done different. I feel like sometimes you would single out your partner um, you would make them feel bad about picking up the slack or not, but it was you that was maybe dragging your feet to become emotionally available. I'm seeing that uh, you wish you could fix this, you want to work it out, but I feel like your person has... I feel like your person initiated the discussion of the breakup, and this was changing your life. Uh, you didn't want this breakup to happen. I feel like now you're feeling very reckless, you want to hide from the world. You feel like you want to be under a rock. I mean, this is the energy. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. But the cards are telling me your person has called it quits. Um, they are now enjoying the fruits of their own labor. They're getting attention. They're getting praise. Uh, they really miss you. Missed you in the sense that they have love for you. But this person is not willing to go backwards with their life. I feel like you came off as a more immature energy to your person. Look, if it's vice versa, it's vice versa, right? All right, well... Both of you are not confused about this anymore. I feel like the, the discussion was very straightforward. There was nothing, this person was being honest when they said it, but you feel like they're being selfish for leaving. And they they brought up how selfish you were being with your emotional uh, in, of unavailability and insecurities. So this person didn't feel guilty about leaving you. Excuse me. This person didn't feel guilty about leaving you because you made them feel abandoned for a very long time. I'm saying the month of October could be important or the month of May. You made this person feel unimportant. This person bounced. And uh, they don't regret it. They're looking at their other options. But they know what they had with you was really good. Um, they're only looking at their options. They're not pursuing any active open options. But people are pursuing them online. Online, people are trying to pursue them. But this person is really staying alone. They're still thinking about the connection. Okay, let's get deeper into this. See if it, if the real situation comes out, the deeper situation. What happened between these two? All right. Three cards each and a likely outcome for my pile. Six. You both are reflecting on what had happened. You maybe have someone else in your life now, but you still are undecisive about that. I think you're channeling and processing the breakup in a more serious way today, but you're also accepting the good emotions you've had for this person. You still have a deep love for them, but you're choosing to focus on career or an air sign. I feel like this person is feeling a little unhappy, like they're missing you. Um, but they know that they were standing in their truth when they talked to you. So they don't regret what they said, but I feel like they're, they, this person is giving up on this connection. But there may be some uh, further discussion. Maybe they want to explain something or maybe there's something they still have to get back from you. Maybe they lent you something. So they may ask you for that. Um, I feel like this person is going to travel soon. You, on the other hand, I feel like you're going to take the conversation uh, as now you're going to give them your breakup language, basically. I'm seeing the outcome, this, this uh, marriage, this connection, this partnership, it may not last because it was unequal. I feel like there's going to be another discussion of reiteration of that. 
and when when you do get back at them for what like what how they made you feel i don't see you being manipulative about it i really do see you just openly saying how you feel that you love them and but you're going to ride the waves of your life and this is your life now and i feel like you would mention how they wronged you in however way you felt wrong i feel like you're going to mention that and uh you both are going to be on the same page about separating okay guys if you want a personal reading you can check me out at asachalices.net this has been your reading with me and i'll see you guys on the next one right sorry to hear this bye hi pile seven those of you picked these guy needs matches all right this is going to be your relationship reading i'm going to grab one card for you and your person each and see if that is your current energies and then we're going to go into the situation to discuss it further okay guys personal readings are back open let me know if you want them aceofchalices.net pickapile.com let's go Piece from my pile seven and the person, their connection. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of stress uh, surrounding a possible pregnancy. I feel like there's a lot of emotional manipulation going on at the current point in time of this relationship, this connection. I feel like you may be feeling abused or neglected by your partner in some way. You feel like they're not communicating to you at all. Or when they do, you feel like something about them is more self-centered than not maybe a possible affair could have been revealed or it could be your person expressing some kind of secret that sent you into a very closed off energy you almost stopped imagining the future for some whatever reason things are growing but i feel like you are determining that your household is not in good standing for whatever reason Okay, it's very unclear here with the moon what's really going on, but I feel like there has been a, an emotional revelation uh, that your person is now getting very um, serious about their life and their emotional health, and you feel very closed off to hearing them out. A part of you just feels like um, you feel bad for trusting. You feel bad for trusting the situation. Um, you feel awful about uh, maybe you lost some... Uh, Maybe you lost some momentum at work over this. Maybe you fell pregnant and you didn't plan on it or something. Okay, this could be someone from the workplace. Okay, so let's dive in to the connection and see really what is this energy between you two. My pile seven and their person, let's see. Okay, I'm seeing that this was a cheating scenario. I feel like you caught your partner um, extending their energy and attention to another person and uh, you don't know what exactly to do about it. You're really taking this time to just feel awful. You feel awful for investing it. You almost feel sick um, is what it's saying. I mean, not almost feel sick, you feel sick. You feel like this robbed everything uh, from your life. You feel like you don't have opportunities. 
you know, the key is there, the door is there, but there's like a key there and there's a door there. I don't know if you can see it so well, but the key is there, the door is there, but you're not finding the strength to get up and get the key and put it in the door. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know the answers of what to do and it's just that you're not really jumping to accept that is now calling for change. You believe it's over in some way. This person is sharp with their words. They're trying to manipulate you to stay, but they also don't care if you do. I see this person maybe coming towards you with an apology, but you're gonna find it very immature. Um, they also try to close their love off from you and you've had the discussion, the decisive discussion that it's gonna be over. Um, that's kind of how you feel about it. Clarify the 10 of swords. It was a long relationship, maybe four to 10 years you were together. But you feel that the love that was once there is no longer there and the promise of abundance that was there is no longer there. You don't feel like this person's first choice anymore and is getting you frustrated. And I see you guys having an open communication. Maybe you're gonna go out on a date and try to fix this. I'm seeing you might. You might fix this out. There's huge emotional involvement of both of you in this connection. But really, after this pain and after this knowledge, you really need to discuss how you want to move forward because I'm seeing that there's still potential here, but you need to discuss this third party, whatever it is you saw online because with the world card and the ace of wands, whatever it is you saw, um, you can't beat around the bush about it. I'm seeing this person is ready to apologize, but I don't see them stepping into any higher energy. Like, I feel like they're in for the ride. Like whatever you do, they'll mirror it back. Like there's a very immature energy, but you do want to see them again and you want people out of the way. This is the current energy I'm seeing for you guys, all right? I hope this resonated and is making you see it different. Clarify the page once, what will the discussion be about? Let's keep it sexual. It's gonna sound like that. What does Pile 7 need to know here? You need to give the future a chance. Don't feel bogged down by the past. This is the advice here for you. This person is manipulative. They could be a fire sign or a Capricorn, all right? I feel like you know the answers deep down, but the energy to make the choice you're really praying about it. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you, take care, bye. Hi, file number eight. Those of you who chose this romance angel, this is gonna be your relationship reading. I'm gonna grab one card each for you and your person, gauge into the energy, and then pull more cards for your entire situation. What is going on right now in your connection? All right, let's see. Personal readings are back open. If you wanna get at me, pick a pile.com. It's a child's bad night. Let's see what we got for my pile eight. The Romance Angel, and the card in particular, it was Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this is the main energy of this reading. We will see. I feel like this was a time of sharing, but something had happened where you have overpowered your person. It's sending them backwards. Something may about the recent time made them feel insecure. Maybe you gave to another situation. Um, things are going good, but it's like maybe your person feels, I don't know, they want to come closer to you in this time by hook or by crook. And it seems like you're having them wait or you're watching how they behave. Um, at this current point in time. You wanna make sure things grow. This person may be stressing you out. Maybe they are very vocal every time they're unhappy about something, but you're sitting there on the side like this. You know how to make it right. You know what you're going to do. You know what you're going to say, and you don't mind how they're seeing you right now. Maybe you're trying to pace the connection and they're feeling very um, upset about that. They're impatient. They want to just go crazy with you, right? This is your how your honeymoon is going. You are the more mature and put together one. You're able to direct the relationship where it's going. This is starting to frustrate your person, okay? You may be dealing with the Leo. Uh, both of you want things to go good, but I see you have different languages about accomplishing that goal. And so because of that, 
this is there's this friction but there's a good connection both of you are feel compatible most of the time all right so this is how it's going let's see now what the cards have to say about how you two are feeling about each other right now what is the scenario okay Ali and their person. What I'm seeing here is your balanced approach is almost coming off to your person as if you're moving on. Even though this is a time of full passion, you guys are really enjoying each other, you have this closed off nature of you that's having your person crave you, but at the same time, they're feeling kind of upset about it. They feel like it's not matching their passion for you. You're hiding the how equal it is, but you're coming off like... You almost give this vibe that you're ready to leave anytime. And this is putting a fire under your person's ass, but they have a lot of love for you. They, they dream about continuing this. They feel very proud to have you. Uh, like I said, they may be a Leo as well, but this person's feeling very down and emotional right now. They could be drinking right now, missing you, thinking about you. You are keeping things light as if nothing is wrong, but you have some kind of hidden gift for your person they don't know about seeming like that uh you both are very mature people it's just recently maybe there is a shift in your behavior maybe you were talking less maybe you were sharing less emotions than they used to they used to they put emotion in every moment that they're with you but how you feel is like you pulling back for control purposes you don't want to say the wrong thing you don't want to do the wrong thing you don't want to invest in something and make it worse you just want to be fair but your person's not seeing you as fair. Something that you're holding back, you know that you're being fair. So that's how you justify it. But right now, your person is upset mainly because they feel like you're giving them the vibe that you don't feel the situation. And this is really hurting their feelings. It's having them think about other times other people disappointed them. And they're starting to cluster you in that group. Um, but they don't want to. They're heavily attracted to you. You're heavily attracted to them. You trust each other. But it's like you're playing with their trust level. And this is, you know, having them also be a little closed off to you and detached. I feel like there's going to be communication in this on how to make it go further and how to make it strong. So I don't see anything going wrong for you guys. It's going to get better. This honeymoon, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to discuss what is really up with your traumas. And I see you make, you two making a plan on how to balance the situation. If there's a part of you that feels like, hey, I need something different, you're going to be able to talk about that. And hopefully your partner can also speak up and they, because they feel emotionally manipulated by you. And I hope that they can speak about that because they know what's going on. So I hope that they bring it up in the conversation, will they? they're gonna give you the vibe that they're wasting their time now so it's like this is kind of back and forth like man you want to be here just don't be here blah 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 like it's like that kind of a thing but i see you guys are gonna make up and keep this going on for a very long time because you both know that you're both one in a million uh the person believed it but you're giving them reasons to doubt it it's almost like an entertainment thing for you but that's fucked up. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you on the next one, right? Hope you enjoyed this reading. It's the Pickapal.com. Personal readings are back open, guys. Ciao.